Hey everybody, it's ATC time about those comments. Woo! When the dusters come out swinging. Oh, you see me swinging. You send me swinging. <laughs> I did the video on Simply Said Channel. Another black woman is gone, murked by Tyrone over the loss of a basketball game. The Dusties have no shame. I did a video on that. It's what's this loser. And by the way, y'all, they still looking for the loser. What you want to bet? Probably some old hood rat woman is hiding them out. A mammy. So the Dusties come out swinging. Okay. Let's kind of get to the little comments here. Uh, bada bing, bada bing. So here Afro and Afro Sheen says, honestly, I think it wasn't about basketball. She probably had a lot going on positively in her life. And he was likely scraping by sounds typical he was supposedly her friend the basketball game was just the icing on the cake his envious heart couldn't take exactly couldn't take it i already told you he has failed at everything else we have a community of failed men whether you want to face it or not the majority are failures that's why we're at the bottom collectively and and that and that's facts the stats don't lie the highest incarcerated least educated you think so the vessel version speaks says this would be a great moment for black women to start boycotting these sports that are overpopulated by dusties basketball especially don't go to the games don't play the games don't let your children play end our participation and support rest in peace ec says exactly i did that many years ago i wish they put our kids into stem like asians do but sometimes i guess the first said with black women they too worried about these dusty dusty bucket black men all right, here we go. Andre Davis. DeAndre, correction. DeAndre Davis, I'm going to go ahead and give you a little shine. I know you want it. That's why you're over here. It's crazy how you would want women to band together to do this, but not to support the WNBA. Y'all care more about men than women, so why all of this thing? Why would any parents stop their kid from playing a sport they want based on your own personal feelings of grown men? Grow up. How about you grow up and go build something? How about you do that? As Deanna Prince says, won't get a job and do something productive, but they will take a young woman's life over a basketball game. Yes, honey. His ego over everything. Shaking my head. Oh, how I wish she'd been playing with Brad and them instead. She'd still be alive. More than likely, still be breathing. They would have congratulated her and bought her coffee and a pastry afterwards. Exactly. And walked up to her car and make sure she got home. Why? A lot of them got something going on for themselves. I keep telling you, keep hanging around with these low vibrational, low performing, inferior, highly emotional, delusional, dust bucket, chocolate drop. This You're going to get got. Somebody said he was mad he couldn't live out his NBA dreams. Oh, Afro atheist is now Afro antithesis. Oh, yeah. Well, the NBA dream, he, he's living a nightmare. No buckets allowed. Mark Beckman said the female population of the black community is dropping and how much longer is this community going to let this happen? The, the, the men are weak, sir. The men are weak. And for a few black men that are decent, let him pull up. Them crazy ninjas will kill him. How many videos have we seen? A man trying to stop him from harassing a black woman, trying to stop him from doing something dangerous. What happened? Wait in the parking lot, run him over, he ends up dead. Business owner trying to get a business going, they rob him. The common denominator, the number one baby maker, the one, number one poverty stricken baby maker. It is what it is. Little TT and them. <laughs> Angel Heaven said on another note, you're hilarious. You even crack yourself up. Girl, I do sometimes. Yes, got goodly antics. I just saw that. Yes, I will plan on, on doing a story on that. Miss Masani said, so weak. Exactly. Got his fee-fees hurt and killed this woman. Who would help him? Disgusting. Why the hell are you still helping? I would, I would, I would feed a dog before I feed a dusty. Facts. Because why? The dog has more of a chance of surviving and I kill a black woman. A dusty is known to steal and kill. I, I'm Call it whatever you want. I will feed a dog before I feed a dusty. You can take that to the bank. So, here's one. I, I got a... Um, Oh, here we go again. Boop, boop. Here you boy, DeAndre Davis. I'm going to give you a little shine, homie. 
He says, it's kind of sad that this woman's death was made an example of your disdain for justice. This video was not about a woman dying. It was about your, your opinion of the men you know. Rest in peace to this woman. I'm sure she has people who really care about her. Not just trying to be a fake Cynthia G. You Cynthia G F. Okay, let's get this straight. First of all, honey, I don't know Dusty because my life is not surrounded by a bunch of black men, especially Dusty black men. The black men I do know, oh, trust me, they do very well for themselves. They are professional, well educated, and the others are Caucasian. So let's get this. I don't deal with Dust. A uh, Dusty might try to rob. I don't deal with no Paul Dusty. I wouldn't deal with you. You sound like a chocolate drop. Let's get this straight. He said, now this, I keep telling you in the black community, in the BC, who's protected the dust buckets, that's who's protected. He said, it's kind of sad this woman's death was made an example of your disdain for Dusty's. Dusty's bring drama, death, and trauma. Why would I have love for him? See, that's the... That's why I say lead the black uh, community, the, the BC, the mind thinking, the thought process is very warped at best. Speaking for the collective, the thought process, why would I not have this name for the Dusties? All they do is tell the community, spread their old poverty low, their old poverty deed can barely read seed in the community. Wherever they go, it's bound to be a shit show. That's all they do. Still kill every day. Somebody trying to thrive, good luck staying alive with a bunch of Dusties around. So he said, so in other words, well, that's my whole point. This lets you know, this is why, he, this sounds like a, t uh, this has got to be, I bet it's a black man. If it's not, it might be a troll. But I think it's a chocolate drop. Why would I not have this thing for people that all they do is destroy? They kill out our best and brightest. But see, that's the black, that's the, that is the thinking process of the, of the majority of the black BC. We coddle that. Well, he only killed one person now. The old mammies. I wish we could take all the Dusties and the members and put them on the island. Send them over there to the Ukraine, but I guarantee you, yeah, send them over there. See, see if they deal with you, but we, we already know that they don't, they don't want them. You got to be kidding me. And then he says, the video was not about a woman. It's about your opinion. I mean, you know, so no, I don't know Dusties. Oh, no, sweetie. I, I, don't, I don't deal with them, baby. I don't deal with low performing men. I just don't. My daddy raised me better than that. Okay, let's get that understood. But I bet it's a man like you, my disdain for Dusty. Why would I not hate it? Because see, black people have a history. They they shun intelligence and knowledge. And I'm sorry, as a collective, look at the black community. Most black men, the, the dusty black men, that's what they gravitate to. They gravitate to an easy bug, lazy. They gravitate toward ignorance. And so does the mammy, their own mama. And the daddy to the DD. This is what they gravitate to. They always gravitate to something that's low performing. And so when you don't, or oh, you're disdain. You don't skip, I got disdain for him. And then he said, I'm being a fake Cynthia G. Here's my reply to DeAndre Davis. Again, DeAndre, it's gonna, I'm going to give you a little shine today. I said, Alas. A Dusty has arrived. I'm going to give you a little clap. Here you go. The video is about the dangers of black women associating themselves with low-performing black men who are worthless. All they do is destroy everything around them. By the way, the name is simply said, not Sanji. But I get it, boo. I bet you want her phone number. You're trying to see if I know her. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't think Sanji would be interested. Sorry, not sorry. So he's obviously hopped on this page. It's it's for women. You can't tell. An intelligent black man. It's not for Dusty, but you got your behind here. I didn't ask you to come here. Better yet, instead of trolling on a black woman's page, why don't you, if you're a black man, how about you go to one of the clan members' page? You know what I'm saying? Go to one of their pages. Why don't you go troll them? You scared. How about this? Instead of being up in black women's spaces, if you really care, sir, if you're not a dusty, prove us wrong. How about you go into your community and form a task force with all the non-working dusties, okay? Number one, why don't you form a task force to tell them to stop committing crimes in the neighborhood? Because it ain't like the Klan is just showing up, putting on some uh, paint and, and doing all this killing. How about you get the dusties together? Okay, and teach them how to make maybe not hate themselves, but then maybe again you do. How about you do that? Not hate themselves. 
Okay, stop killing, stop thieving, learn to read out the cat in the head book fluently. How about you do that? Okay, how about you do a GoFundMe and maybe get a fund going so the dusties can go ahead and get a whole bunch of vasectomies or at least stack them up with birth control? H how about you do that? If you want to do a GoFundMe and say, hey, I'm trying to get free, get a whole factory of free birth control to give to the black men, this the black dusties, so they can stop bringing uh, the poverty DC into the world and causing drama, death, and trauma, man, I bet you probably get a million dollars just like that. I, I, well, I'm not giving you no money, but yeah, you, you, you get a lot of money. How about you go do that? How about you go and build? If you're a father, uh, how is your child reading level? If you're not a father... Pause on that. How about you go get some work in and make your community safer? How's your portfolio doing? Can you spell portfolio? You know what one is. How about you go and, go and educate the dust buckets? Because Lord knows there's a whole bunch of them around. How about you go and do that? But see, that's work. How about you go try and find, if, if, you're, if you give a darn, how about you put together a task force to make the neighborhood safer? Okay. Get the dust off the dust buckets. Go and find the 64,000 plus black women and children that are, that are missing. Better yet, how about you go and tell the black men to please stop trafficking black women because they're too inferior and can't make a living on their own. They either own a mama or, or mammy or some black female. How about you go and do that? Please tell black men to please stop trafficking your women because you are lazy and inferior. And all you know how to do is put some old dusty shoes and boots on and grab a gun. How about you go and do that? That's a full-time job right there. How about you go and mentor some young black men? That's if you're even worthy of doing so. So see, you got a whole lot of work to do, but you done brought yourself over here up and up in our business. It's not for you, sweetie. You don't qualify. I can see you got the dust on you from here. It's <coughs> got me choking. And that's what's sad. When you, you can tell you got a dusty black man, they worried about everybody else's business but their own. How about you go and do something constructive? How about you go do that? But no, because you can't deal with these issues, you're too lazy, or maybe you're scared. You can't deal with your issues. You, you are part of a group of men that are the most incarcerated, least educated. You are with a group of men that essentially work for the clan and killing out your own. But you, but you got time today to come over here. Really? Can you read out the cat in the hat book? Do if you go teach somebody else that can. You with a group of men, they so angry and so dysfunctional, so vibrational. They look at one another. They want to start fighting, boxing up. How about you go make your community safer? How about you go start some kind of program, get some legislation going, where maybe if you're an unarmed black man, you won't get shot down so much by the cops. Better yet, how about you go and do this here? Try to make it where, the, where a lot of black men are not doing things so people don't have to call the cops. How about you do that? Can you do that? How about you go and try and correct the black man's behavior so people aren't always, and I don't mean no caring. Every time I look up some food done robbed, some he done stole, some he did the same old thing over and over again. He done kill somebody because he mad, because he sad, because he want to be like Brad. So, baby, you got a lot of work to do. But guess what? Over here on Simply Said, I don't need you. Bye.